Scorpio, welcome to your weekly love messages. These will be from the 23rd until the 29th of August. We're going to do things a little bit differently this week. We are going to take out the three card, pick a card. I'm going to release those as a separate reading set um, at some point this week. We will be looking at your love messages, your person's feelings, your feelings, most likely outcome, romance, angel and advice. If you feel like you need a personal reading, you can find all of the details down in the description box below. And remember that these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with every single person. That's okay. Um, you can either hit that notification button or subscribe in case the next message very well might be your message. Um, or you can go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube. I am releasing a whole lot of new, not a whole lot, but I'm releasing some new um, spreads. So I'm trying to um, grow our channel, grow our community as much as possible. The more we grow the community, the more people subscribe, the more we can get the message out to your fellow scorpions um, and the more readings I can actually get done for you guys. All right, let's get started. Love messages, please, for Scorpio. Scorpio. Oh, okay, that one wants to come out. Oh, the Knight of Cups is in reverse. Someone might be feeling a little bit rejected. Ooh, this could be a uh, twin flame connection. Two of Cups does not have to be, could just be a very strong soul connection. It is the Two of Cups, though. Three more, please. Four of Cups. Yeah, someone feels like they're missing out here or that they've missed out. Um, the Devil in Reverse. Could be a Capricorn. One more. Yeah, okay, Judgment. There's been decisions. Decisions, decisions. Tell me about the Devil in Reverse, please. Why is the Devil in Reverse? Okay, so it looks like this person, someone has decided to release the burdens of this situation at the moment. I don't feel like this is a forever thing because the Two of Cups is here in the upright. Um, but for the time being, it's like this was too toxic. This was not healthy for me. I had to release the, the burden. I had to drop all of those sticks. Um, can I get another two, please, for that devil in reverse? Mm-hmm. Oh wow, Ace of Cups. Two aces. Mm. And this is judgment in the upright. I feel like it's almost like someone has had to step away from this so that the two of you can actually have a fresh start here. Because I feel like I'm dropping the Ten of Wands to bring in these two aces and it's the ace of swords and the ace of uh, ace of cups so the, the love and then the ideas communications here um this is a really interesting reading scorpio let's talk about this knight of cups in reverse why is the knight of cups in reverse scorpio i feel like this four of cups is definitely your energy feeling like maybe you've missed this opportunity or that you're hyper focused on this cup and you're not seeing any other opportunities. You're not really interested in any other opportunities right now. Queen of Wands. Okay. So you may have been rejected by, <laughs> there sometimes is a Pisces or a Leo Aries Sagittarius. Yes, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, but this person is very confident. Um, they're very social. They're very, oh, and then the King of Cups. They have a lot of love for you. They're showing up. Okay. Whew. Okay, they're showing up as, a, as both these court cards. Um, don't get hung up on the genders because I read the genders as they appear in the cards depending on the deck that I'm reading. But it's like they didn't feel like this was going to be a success with the way it was. And that's what we're seeing with the devil here in reverse. It was like there was something that needed to be released here. But I don't, I do not feel like this is a forever thing because we've got the King of Cups. This Queen of Wands, she's very passionate. Um, 
But she's also got a lot on. She's got a lot going on here. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Yeah, Chariot. It's like, you guys, in order to continue with your soul journey here, because I do feel like this is a very strong divine connection, in order to move forward with that, with the Chariot, that's why this has had to happen. Judgment, please. And this is why judgment showing up in the upright, because this is the right decision to be making right now. Tell me about judgment. Yep, that bang. Four of Wands. This decision, this has had to come about so that someone can release some baggage that they're carrying. It's not the, it's certainly not the end. This rejection is not the end. It's actually like, a, I feel like it's almost like a, someone, someone sweeping out, like all the, all the, sweeping the floor, like they're sweeping out all their dust so that it's clean and fresh and you can start again kind of thing let's talk about the thoughts and feelings please for Scorpio this is a very very strong connection like the love here I'm feeling is whoo okay yeah you're feeling a bit scattered here you could be dealing with an Aries one more and the king of swords in reverse all right you might be hiding your uh, emotions a little bit about all of this Scorpio you might not be telling them how you feel um, you might have gone a bit quiet on them but you I feel like with the Emperor or you've gone the other way and you've become very controlling and a little bit nasty um, now you may not be saying these things to this person but there's this element of well fine then I, I don't I don't want you anyway I don't care about you anyway um, but that's just this Aries in reverse energy coming through. Tell me about the uh, Scorpio's other person, please. Scorpio's other person. Thoughts and feelings on Scorpio's other person. Come on, spirit, stop that. Sun. You make them very happy. You could be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, they're not, they're not considering any other options or anything like that. You make them very happy. This is just something they have to do. Um, they're just not ready for that new beginning with the Empress in reverse. One more, please. Yeah, but they will come to you when they're ready. They do want to offer you something, but with this Empress in reverse, it's like it's not, it's not the right time to be planting seeds for them. They have to clean house kind of thing. I feel like it's like they need an emotional cleanse like they need to go do some reiki or something i don't know but they need to kind of deal with their own stuff and that is why this has had to happen the way it is tell me about um most likely outcome here please for scorpio mm -hmm. king of sword <laughs> okay so you're getting your shit together this week scorpio sorry for the swear warning um, but, and you're coming into the upright, which is good because you've come out of that nasty, angry mode and you've come into a bit more of a balanced, okay, I'm going to use my mind. I'm going to use my thought over my emotions. The, this person is erratic. They, they talk out of anger. They let their emotions, they let their bad thoughts get the better of them. But you've come out of, you're coming out of that at the beginning of the week. We've got the, uh, strength card in reverse. Okay, now this has fallen directly in the neutral position. We will leave it there. Two more, please. Most likely outcome for Scorpio this week. Oh, I'm clarifying at the same time, are we? Okay, yep. So you're kind of not sure whether you should defend yourself or open yourself up to this person. Yeah. But you're going to, and because now that you've come out of this kind of anger, um, or frustration or, you know, bad, just negative thinking, um, you, you, there's this vulnerability. There's this ability to open yourself up, but not fully because this seven of wands is in the neutral position. It's like I still want to protect myself, but I want to open myself up. And that was followed directly by the strength card in reverse. Um, towards the back end of the week, you are going to see with the ten of pentacles that 
this is not this relationship is not ready to to be taking off into the ten of pentacles but that's okay because you're still emotionally attached even though you're physically not going to be necessarily together but the beautiful thing about this so let me let me get to it is with the star card in reverse you're actually starting to see why this is happening you're no longer blinded by the star and you can start you're thinking a little bit more clearly you're able to see okay this actually makes sense now this separation or this break or this you know this person not quite being ready um, this makes a lot more sense and and that's what's going to help you see this judgment in order to get this four of wands marriage stability which will then flip over you know this ten of um, pentacles as well which is great I do I don't like to say this necessarily I do feel like the two of you have a, a strong soul journey there's no doubt about it um if this is not your reading do not make it fit and like squeeze the square into the circle please and you know wait around for something that's not going to happen for the next 12 months but if this is resonating with you then just know that this rejection or this person turning you down or um you know this them saying that it's not the right time is actually genuine it really isn't the right time for them for whatever reason they do have love for you they do want to make this offer there is absolutely a lot of spiritual support around you um, don't let your negative thoughts get the better of you over here though let's go into advice please for scorpio Advice for Scorpio, please. Yeah, you need to work on yourself, Scorpio. Let this person go and do their thing. You've got your own self stuff to do. Because what you don't want is for them to come back around. Yeah, look at this. You've got your own lessons that you haven't learned yet with a hermit in reverse. So stop obsessing and thinking about this and worrying about this because that's not going to change it. Worrying about it isn't changing it. Focus on your work. Focus on your study. Focus on your self-improvement over here. Advice, two more please for Scorpio. Because what you don't want to happen is what I was about to say is for you to stand still they go away and do the work that they're supposed to be doing. You stop doing the work that you're supposed to be doing and then you guys get out of alignment again. So you need to keep doing what you're doing. You need to keep working on yourself so that when they've done their work, you guys both come back into alignment. Two more, please, for advice for Scorpio. I feel like Spirit's saying you've got your own stuff to do. You know how like when you're at school, the teacher would be like, focus on your own work that's what they're saying to me like focus on your own work and they're being quiet about it like sit down look at, come on sit down and focus that's that's the kind of way that I'm receiving it so I'm not meaning to get school teachery on you but that's how I'm getting it so um yeah weird okay nine of cups in reverse over here yeah if you don't allow this to happen you're going to be unfulfilled. It's not going to make you happy. Um, you have to kind of release it and let the ending happen. Even though it's painful, you have to do it or you're going to be unfulfilled. You're going to be unhappy. This person's going to be unhappy and you'll be stopping your Ten of Cups. This is your future. This is where you're headed to. Um, so it's there. This just needs to happen first. Let this person go do their thing. Let this person go deal with whatever it is that they need to deal with and you deal with what you're dealing with and then just let it all unfold naturally. All right, don't forget if you feel like you need a personal reading, you can find all of the details down in the description box below. Please remember to subscribe so that we can grow this channel and I can get more and more readings out to you guys. Oh, spirit is speaking, telling me to hurry up. Separation, you could not write about it. You saw that fly out on its own. Time apart is on the on the horizon from your partner is on the horizon but the reason that that flew out on its own is because spirits confirming it needs to happen this separation needs to happen for the two of you to actually come back stronger that's what needs to happen all right um i am releasing as i said a whole lot of new readings so stay tuned for those i will be seeing you at one of those at some point this week so um have a great week Scorpio focus on you get into your 
teacher school person mode school person you know what I'm trying to say here um, and focus on you so use the separation wisely basically all right Scorpio bye